Walk me through your resume. This is a very common question that many interviewers use, usually at the beginning of the interview. Now, this is a very similar question to tell me about yourself, but it's slightly different. In many cases, the hiring managers haven't even had the time to actually look at your resume. So they just want to get an idea for who you are, what's your story, why you're there, right? So what you want to do is smash that like button below and subscribe to this channel and hit the notification bell so you don't miss out on any of the tips that can help you do that. Now, while I'm a little bit kidding on that, do that so it helps with the algorithm and other people can benefit from this. All right, so let's begin. What is uh, a good answer for this question of what went through your resume and how long should it be? Well, really, you don't wanna go too long. You don't want to be more than five minutes, maybe three or something along those lines. And there are a couple things you gotta keep in mind. First, you don't want to just literally tell them your resume, like, oh, I did this, I did that. All that is boring, you're wasting time. What you want to do is, you want to go and highlight the areas of your work experience and your resume that best align with the role that you're applying to and that best showcase both your achievements and your ability to perform under that new role as well as your ability to actually be someone that they will like and they will want to employ a SAP. So how do you actually do that? Let's say that you're someone who, maybe you're entry level, maybe not, maybe you're a little bit more senior. Even then, you don't want to just go over every single piece of experience that you've had. What you wanna do is say something along the lines of, uh, yes, I graduated in engineering back in 95 or back in 2005 or back in 2010, it doesn't matter. In 2010, I immediately started uh, working in a software company. Let's say it was software engineering. At a software company, uh, I was initially doing some of the uh, infrastructure for some of our clients. And then I realized that I really prefer co the coding aspect of it. So I decided to certify myself on Java, blah, 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 blah. I went to a boot camp. I've done these types of challenges and I've not only sent, but I've also brought my portfolio of work so that you can actually see that I can perform things in C++, Java, Python, just as the job requirement asked. Not only that, but I also decided for the past two years to go and take a full-time master's in financial engineering because this is something that I became passionate of as I continue to read the news and see what a wonderful world the financial world is and seeing all the derivatives and all the incredible instruments that we can create and all the value that we can create not only for ourselves but our clients simply by being able to structure products that are not only less risky but also that can create a higher return for everyone involved and that's why I decided to apply to this company because after conducting my research, I saw that you are at the forefront of financial engineering. And that is something that I've become very passionate of in my past, in this past few years. That's why you can see in my resume, some of my latest work experience have actually been internships at company A and company B, where I actually managed to do project one, two, and three in which I showcase my skills doing da 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 and we obtain these results for the company. And that's something that I would like to repeat through my contributions over the long term in a company such as your such as yours. Something like that, right? Again, that was a, I pulled it out of thin air. I am not an engineer, I don't know anything about coding, but that's kinda like uh, something that you can do to walk right, to walk them through your resume. It shouldn't be dry like, oh I went to this, I studied that. You want to make it a story that showcases why you made your decisions, your career decisions at each step of the way. You want to minimize as much as possible the things that are not as relevant to the role. If they ask you, you can just answer them honestly and shortly, like why you did something that maybe wasn't uh, directly involved. But at the same time, you should be customizing your resume when you're applying to the role. So you shouldn't be having anything that's not relevant either on the resume or in a way that's very, um, how do we call it, prominent in the resume itself so that they, they don't see that, they don't get confused, right? So if you are doing the right thing, you're customizing your resume for each role, even if it's the same role in the same industry that you're applying to, then that shouldn't be too much of an issue. 
And when you answer this question that way, it showcases your top processes, how you've grown throughout your career or whatever you've done, even if you are at an entry level, out of college or something along those lines, and why you made the decision to study what you studied, to work where you worked, the value that you provided those employers that hopefully is aligned with the value, or you can spin it in a way that's aligned with the value that you can provide to their role, something that they're looking for in their job description, for example. And notice how I mentioned the keywords like Java, Python, all that stuff, because that's thing that's, those are things that were probably mentioned in a job description for, I don't know, like maybe a coding in, the financial engineer in a financial engineering role, right? Again, I don't know too much about that, but let's suppose that that's the case. So you wanna do that. You wanna spray your story with those keywords that they want in their job description. You wanna make it look like you made some sound good decisions moving along and you are very excited about the new role that you're gonna take and how everything you've done so far has taken you to where you are today, right? And that's gonna be a great answer for what they're looking for. Now you might be thinking, okay, so what are some of the things that I shouldn't do? Well, you shouldn't ramble on too long. Somewhere along the lines of the length of the story that I just gave you is good. You don't want to go into too deep or too detailed into things that are not as relevant to the role, which I've mentioned. You don't want to be negative. You always wanna spin everything positively. Oh, I was laid off, no, it's like, there was a restructuring, so then I had the opportunity to actually jump into a different role where I managed to develop a more complete skill set when it came to the software engineering space. Something along those lines. You see how I spin that? It's like, oh, I got laid off. No, like uh, the, the industry, there was, uh, there was a decline in the industry, so the company had to do some restructuring. And that actually gave me the opportunity to jump into this other job where I developed this new skill sets or took on this new responsibility, right? You always wanna spin it positively. You don't wanna talk ill about anything else, about any other career path that you did, any other employer that you had. And that's basically it. You don't wanna put anything personal, personal life, right? You wanna focus just on like um, academic and work experience that's relevant to a specific role. Now, if you've done something that is not relevant for too long, then it might actually come up and they might say, especially if you put it in the resume, there might be like, they might ask you like, hey, so I see that you've been for, for about 10 years now, you were in the business world, why do you wanna do some coding now? Then this is gonna be different. You can either do a normal, like more businessy response, but I will say, be honest, in this case, if you're applying to a job that you want because you really wanna do it, and that's what you should be doing, then you're, you're going to be able to give an honest response like, Yes, I actually managed to grow a strong career in the, in the business world, and I actually had a blast developing, developing my skill sets there. But I felt like it was time for a new challenge, and the truth is that all along the way, I had truly enjoyed the ability to code. I always feel like I can just lose myself in my work when I am actually looking at my computer and putting the scripts in and actually creating something of value while I can focus on the script and the logic behind it. And that's something that I had enjoyed for many years. I had gotten many certifications. I had studied a lot, done a lot of self-study as well. And it dawned on me that what I really wanted to do with my life at this point was to be a coder. And I believe that this is the right moment to actually make that transition. So when I made my research, I found that your company actually focuses on tan tan tan, and I see that your values are honesty, blah, blah, excellence, doo, 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 doo. and I believe that not only have I showcased those values throughout my career so far, but I will be more than enthusiastic to join a team such as yours. Something along those lines, right? Like very positively, very strong, very honest, and that can be a very strong, to the hard response that it's not BS, that it's nothing like that. Now, if you're just applying it because you want some money, I don't have an answer for you. Uh, <laughs> you might you might just try to BS them, but if your enthusiasm is not there, they're gonna feel it, especially if you are doing a career shift in a way that it's not, that doesn't make sense for them, in a way that it's very hard for you to even like spin it off in your resume. So that's basically it. So. If this makes sense so far, remember to comment below. If you haven't already, smash that like button and subscribe to the channel and hit the notification bell so you know whenever a new video comes out. That's it.